Hi, I'm Mark Cerny. I'm excited to be here to talk about the newest addition to our console lineup, PlayStation 5 Pro, and how it advances gaming technology. We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to at the high frame rates that players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Here's what we call the big three. Now with Apple around the corner, milking it every six months, coming up with a new iPhone, and people are buying into it. Why? Because it is a status situation. Hello? Oh my God, is that the new iPhone? I am better than you. Sony saw an opportunity with the PlayStation. Why can only iPhone and Apple do it? Why not? Why can't we have PlayStation Pro and PlayStation Pro Max? Give it six months, PlayStation Pro Max will come out. Sony told themselves that why can only Apple do it? Why can't we do the same shit? Add a little bit of features to it, but then go on and online and everywhere say that it is our latest best pr project we have ever created yet and you should buy it. So by now you're probably aware that two, three days ago, PlayStation came out and said they have their new PlayStation Pro just within 24 hours a window of when Apple dropped iPhone 16. Sony announced the new PlayStation 5 Pro and they thought people are going to absolutely lose their minds as they did before, especially with PS3, PS4 and PS5. Not so much for PS5, but people were so happy because it changed their lives. Especially going from PS2 to a PS3, it was life-changing for many people, including me. But instead of getting slapped by love from the people, they are getting slapped with backlash because calling them thieves, calling them scammers, because it can get up to $1,000 per PlayStation, where just... 2020 PlayStation 5 came out and the price tag was only $500. And the majority of people, including me, are mad about one big thing. There is no exclusive games to the PS5 Pro. You can still play PS4 games, but it will jump from 30 FPS to a 60 FPS. With having no exclusivity to the PlayStation, no new games added to it. Like if they did GTA 6 only is getting released on the PlayStation 5 Pro, Sure. But Sony, 700 for what? Because it has a line and it has Pro at the end? Well, let's go over some of the new features added to the new PlayStation besides having Pro at the end and having some lines on it. They're saying it goes from 30 FPS to 60 FPS, which will change your life, which will take your gaming to the next level. So throw your PS5 out and put $800 because you, you need to buy the disc and the stand as well with it because it's not sold you know, together. Such an iPhone move. I swear such an Apple move. First, we made the GPU much larger and increased the speed of the memory it uses. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. So if you're tired of waiting for 12 seconds until your PS5 turns on and your game launches, do not worry. Now all you gotta wait is 10 seconds. Worth it! Take my money! My new table is not as strong as the old one. Sony, see what you did? You got me too excited with your 10 second launch that I almost broke my table. Now, this is another major thing they're claiming that they had it is the sharpness, the thickness, the crowd, the quality, the imaging, the coloring of any anything NPCs behind you in GTA, the tree behind you on uh, fucking Spider-Man. They're claiming that it will get you horny the second you see the quality of the game, the second you experience it. With graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it doubled the frame rate. Here's The Last of Us Part 2 running on PS5 Pro. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. Now the funny thing in this clip was they used the PS4 game to showcase the new PS5 Pro and they're saying that it went from 30 to 60 FPS. You can't tell shit. I'll tell you from now. If you're not an actual filmmaker or if you don't have like serious ADHD, you cannot tell the difference between 30 and 260. Watch my videos in 30 or 60 FPS. I used to post before 30 FPS and no one could tell shit. Now I can confidently say 98% of the world cannot tell the difference between 30 FPS and 60 FPS. Fuck it. I've been into content creation for five years. I can't tell the difference if I see it. Now they're saying throw your PS5 out because PS5 Pro. A huge difference. Well, my friend, you can't tell shit, Sony. What is this? My friend, at this point, $1,000. Go buy a PC. Go, go buy a PC. People buy PlayStation to stay within budget. 
and experience the game you know fully as well and for example the uncharted game is only 30 fps if you play call of duty for example it is 60 fps so what 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 sony what's the difference has been achieved for a broad set of titles including marvel's spider-man 2 and ratchet and clank rift apart we can see that ps5 pro is close to doubling the power of playstation 5. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. Okay, you know what, actually, I take back whatever I said about the PS5 Pro. PS5 looks like absolute shit right now. You can 100% tell the difference in these two images. PS5 Pro makes PS5 look like PS5 was released in 2005. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. <laughs> Now, 100% if you're playing any game, you're paying attention to the crowd in the background. The small details, the tree, how the tree moves and all. It makes a huge difference. Get the full gaming experience with PS5 Pro. Take my money. I need to stop hitting my table. But I, like I said, this is for the ADHD people. No one fucking pays attention to the background. Now, this is the most important short clip that shows us the actual difference in the performance. If you cannot tell the difference between these two images my friend you need glasses in your life or you need to get checked up again because it's been a while or you're blind just like the fresh milk you bought yesterday it is absolutely useless right now because you need to buy the milk from today the taste the, the quality of the milk is way different so do not be a fool and stick with the yesterday's milk you need to buy this milk even though if you just took it one sip out of it throw it out it is not worth it anymore now don't get me wrong i'm not a hater of playstation i'm a very big fan indeed i've had all the way from ps1 to ps5 i actually bought two ps5s but i just sold both of them because i don't use it but the best times of my life was when ps3 got released and the first game i bought was black ops 1 with the ps3 in my arms going home and playing black ops zombies and every day coming back from school playing multiplayer hustling for that gold camo prestige 15 360s private game silent kill sniper shots all that things it was absolutely the best time of my life playing with friends having toxic conversations but the key point here is when i switched up from a ps2 to a ps3 that is what makes what made a huge difference was first of all the performance would actually imp you know improve whatever you turn on the ps3 you don't have to cross your fingers for it to see if it launches or not like the ps2 but the main thing was the exclusivity of the whole thing you could not play black ops 1 in ps2 you could only play it in the ps3 and i think whenever sony needs to you know release a playstation there needs to be some exclusive games with it the reason why ps5 didn't do as well it's just like the fact that if no one ever had a ps uh, you know 4 or ps5 before they would go for the ps5 because it was only 500 dollars the day it got released and it's still at 500 dollars and the fact that you know it's just the latest version there's no point of buying the ps4 right now as it is very hard to find right now if it's brand new but the games were just remastered it was basically the same thing i believe only a very very few games were could only be played at ps5 because PS4 could not run it in their, you know, performance with their CPU and GPU. So with this whole PlayStation Pro thing, it's just a quick money grab. It has absolutely nothing added to it. They should have just waited, on, honestly, until 2027, until the PS6 according to Sony is going to get released. Because with this PlayStation Pro thing, it is not a tomato potato type of situation. It is a tomato tomato situation. Now, it is still not out yet. November 7 is the day it's going to get released. Price tags are already released, but there's no excitement in it. Maybe the 13-year-old kids can't wait for the PlayStation to have a line on it and a pro at the end so they can show off in front of their friends and call them poor. But as if things weren't worse enough with not having any exclusive games towards the PS5 Pro and just the price tag being way too high already, they decided to take away the disc and the stand and you need to buy it separately! extra hundred dollars so if you're old school or you're a collector and you don't you don't like to have games bought online you would like them to have a cd in hand well you have you have to pay hundred dollars extra for it but with this extra hundred dollars it makes a ps5 pro absolutely worth it i'm honestly very surprised how well they hit the fact that you know this is 
not a money grab. We did this for the people because we care about the people. Now, there are two reasons they decided to release the new uh, pro version of the PS5. First one, just following Apple's footsteps, releasing the PlayStation. We're going to find out if this is actually the reason or not in the next six months to one year. If they re release a fucking PS5 Pro Max. Just a quick money grab like iPhone and adding like 10% making the performance better or 20% making the performance better in their PlayStation. Just a quick money grab. But another reason could be the fact that, you know, because they take so long in releasing the PlayStations. I honestly don't know why it takes so long. Graphics card fucking gets released within a year. New version after new version. A whole console takes 7 to 8 years to release. Because PlayStation 6 is set to be released around the 20, 2027 kind of mark. And maybe they just wanted to give the people something and for them not to be forgotten by everyone and go to xbox so they just wanted to give people an appetizer before the main dish which is playstation 6 is going to get released now with all that said is it worth it to upgrade to a ps5 pro if you already have a ps5 come your tits it is uh, as your financial advisor i would suggest you not to because it is just a waste of money if you're shedding money diarying money this is a different conversation then go for it get the full experience out of it but if you know how to use your money you can put that seven eight hundred dollars to so much better use but if you do not have a console yet and if you're looking forward to you know buy a console if you can afford it eight hundred dollars go for it if you cannot afford it then i'd say just go for the ps5 honestly it doesn't make much of a difference trust me it can still run games perfectly fine without having it overheat it's not a fucking ps2 or a ps3 which it's gonna go in airplane mode ps5 is still very much well just developed it still runs games perfectly and there's no exclusivity to a ps5 pro so you're not missing out on much so if you're shitting money or you're a collector or you like to show off and rub it in all of your friends faces and you're 13 years old go for this if not just stick with the ps5 stick with the shit you have save the money and thank me later but anyways just wanted to talk about this whole situation this is literally the third time i've shot this video i apologize if there hasn't been any videos in the past few days because i had to get this whole mic thing fixed because there was a every time i spoke inside the camera as you can tell from the previous videos and i apologize to the headphone users but it is fixed now thankfully so yeah in celebration of getting it fixed like the video and subscribe and yeah take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one